All right, so the next thing is to go back to your folder, that um, database source folder, then click on the DB setup file again. So this time around, you will see here uh, the correct thing shows up. Uh, Vera database setup wizard. Now, so install a new database instance. Of course, that's what we want to do. And then you have to type of uh, database supported the Heroku or MS um, SQL Server. So all the configuration we've done so far are uh, related to MS SQL. So that's the option we're choosing right now. So Microsoft SQL Server, then we click on next. Then the DBA username, remember that at some point we, we created a username and password. Um, so you could use the SA, that's the system admin default username and the password that you created, or you can use the, the distance that you use to create the username that you created in the management studio. So you have that. So if you miss this interface, um, this, this session where we created the username and password, so feel free to go back to the video where we created the username and password. So in the server, SQL server and management studio. So I'm using the username I created, Kenny. And then the password that uh, was used for it. And um, at this point here, you can see that base host ports listening at 1433. That's the time that we ask you to configure um, your TCP IP to listen at 1433. So you have to, if this is not configured, this is not going to connect to, to that. So, and then the database host address is essentially your system um, name. So this is the Daniel PC. So I click on next. So this is going to go ahead. Uh, at this point, if your username and password is not correct, you're going to get a pop-up that says it's not correct. So go back to that um, S SSMS studio and either correct the password or create a new user and then come back here and then do that. So in this case, this is correct. Now the approach that we're using, there are two approach that can be used. One is manual database setup. And the second is the automatic database setup. For convenience, automatic database setup is what we're going to be using. So the this wizard will automatically set the database up for us. It will create it, and then you know dump the prerequisite data into the database for us, rather than us doing everything ourselves. So we're going to supply the database name to be used. Ensure this database name does not exist before. So I'm just going to call it. Um, um, PC, PCs DB1. So I call it and ensure that you remember this database name as well. So PCs DB1, that's the name of the database I'm using, or I call it PC DB. And then the database files will be dumped here and the log files will be dumped here. The database code page will be a database uh, a default. So once you do this, you click on next. Now the next thing is that um, the users, so there are private users and public users. That's the requirement to for PCs um, database setup. So you may use the suggested name, uh, privileged user, or and public user, priv users and pub user, or you can use an existing user. So you know you can have this existing user that you created um, that time. Same thing you can use for this one as well, or you may just use the privileged user, public users, and all of that. So um, I'm going to use this suggested name. I'm going. To, I'm not going to use the existing user such such so that uh, you can see how this works. Uh, so preview user and pop user. So I'll create a new password for them, and then use a new password for them. The same thing here. Ensure that you re recall the password that you're using because you will need it later on. So I'm creating a new user preview user for privileged user pop user for public user. Then I click on next. And then this admin username and password, this is what you will use by default to log in into your PC's database. That's what you will use to log into your PC's um, 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 software. So admin, you can change the username if you like, but I'm going to keep it as admin. And then I'll give it a password, you know, of my choice. And then load sample data. I want it to load sample data so I can relate. And then the default currency is, um, you know, these are international currencies. So I'm going to have it to, to 
to be US dollar. Later on, when you log into the, the software, you can change it to your local currency. So right now I'm going to roll with uh, the US dollar. And then the next thing is just to click on install. So all things being equal, this is going to install. Now, at this point, if the user you supply does not have that sysadmin role, remember when you're creating your username, um, a new user, there's a place where we went to server role and then we added sysadmin. If that user does not have a sysadmin role, the person will not be able to perform this task and it's, it might throw an error. So if you didn't do that, just simply go back to SSMM, um, SQL Server Management Studio, and then give it a server role. Uh, under server role, give it the user assist admin, and then come back here, and then you'll see it pass this test. So you're just gonna wait. So you can see the create the uh, PP MDB table. So that's done. What it is doing right now is loading sample data. Once that is done, it's going to create the remaining database objects. So once that is done, um, we are almost good to go. So I'm going to, as always, to save the time of the video, I'll just pause it. But it's just going to, the next thing is just going to um, continue. Like so you can see the load sample data checked, create remaining database object checked. So the next thing is just to use your next. So the installation has been completed. Click finish to finish. So we're done. Now, um, almost done. So we have a database um, set up. So if you have a new instance of your PCs to be configured, you can always come here to, to do that, you know, and um, like that. So the next thing we want to do is just to then install the software itself, the, the PCs. Setup. So the next thing we want to do is just to go to uh, the setup and then install that. So we we'll come here and click on the setup file. So I think uh, we should break it as usual. Okay, let's write on. So we have this set up here so the pc professional setup typical or advanced we just go with typical then okay ready to install primavera yes we are ready install yes so the installation is going to continue So run database configuration. So we have all the required credentials that we need. So is you're selecting which database, SQL SQL Server. So we have all credentials required. Then the host name now. So you're going to have to pick the host name from your from your server studio. So if you launch this MS SQL Management Studio, and then you can get that from here. Just right click on the user you created or any other user, Create right click on it, properties. So once you click on properties, you have this login properties lo lo loaded. So you can view connection properties. And then you have this computer name here. So you can copy this. That's essentially your, your server host, copy that. And um, the host name, put that there. Now the database name is what you created. That database you created, I call it PCs db1 or so uh, if you've forgotten you can actually get that here so you if you come back if you come here and refresh you will see all the databases that you have here so this is p6 db so you'll see here just in case you've forgotten the name of the database you use all right so i'm going to go back to that where is it so let me copy this then where is the installation the pieces installation oh I, I guess i canceled it this is installation professional
so you can see that coming up or uh, I can just easily you know have it just click this again so I'm going to say change because us the first time we did it um, is pretty much I want us to follow the same approach change uh, uh, let me say back say repair okay uh, yes so we follow a similar approach to the first one So you can see overall status is pretty straightforward. So the next thing is to run the configuration. That's because I canceled it, so you don't have to follow this approach. All you needed to do was just copy the server name and then give it a so you see that I'm back where you where we were. Run database configuration, okay. And then we select database, which is the MS SQL. Then the host name, I paste this, and the database name is uh, like I said, what you created, PCDB. You are the one that uh, supplied whatever it is that you have supplied at that time. So you put that here, P six DB, and then next. Then there was a point where we created a public user where it was asking us to do private user and then we went ahead with the selected user. So we say pub user and then feel free to put a password that you supply at that time. Leave this public group as one. Leave this public group as one. Then next. So at this point is going to check for that database against the credentials that you supply. So everything is fine. It goes. If it is not fine, then it's going to throw back an error. Uh, you're gonna have to fix that. So now if you see this interface, it means that's all set and done Then you have the connection successful. Congratulations. All you need to do is just um, finish that So once you click on finish, you're virtually done. The next thing you want to do is just come back here and type p6 You know, so once you type this you see that you have an app p6 professional um, Click on that or double click on that to open and she double click on that, it opens. Then you can log in into your software. So you can see this interface shows up PC Professional 19. So you have login, you have database. So in, just in case your database configuration was not completed at that time, you can always come back here and configure it. You see P, PMDB, you can configure. So it shows up that um, host, database name, public user, you can always do that here again. So because you can use multiple instances for the same and uh, database, uh, for the same in, um, PC professional software. So for, for us, we are done. So I'm just going to use, and you know, at the point it was asking us for admin and then password so if you have changed the login name at that time you can put whatever login name that you, you supplied at that time i kept mine as admin and then i will use the software uh, the password i use at that time so password and then once i connect if everything is fine i will see my software launch so you can see uh, my software is launched Horoku. so at this point what he's saying is that the appropriate industries is not set so you can set that in admin settings fine uh, because the Horoku from Vera pieces you know it can be used by, by various industries information technologies civil and constructions oil and gas and all of that so if you see the interface uh, congratulations it's a long journey you've been able to install the from a Vera pieces professionals so whichever version this is very um, this is this is it Congratulations. So um, the next thing is just how then do you use the software that you have just installed. So catch up with us in the next um, session. Thank you.